happy crowd. I like it. I like it. My name is Sasha Yusta. I'm the filmmaker of tonight's program later on. It's starting at 8 p.m. Right now, I just want to welcome you to our Ellis Marsalis tribute night. And we're starting off with an amazing concert by the Jason Marsalis Trio. Yeah. <laughs> We're also happy they're here and performing for us. And um, after the concert, we have a very short little uh, intermission. Go out in the lobby, have a few drinks, or maybe probably have time for one drink. Come back, the seats will be moved toward the screen, and you'll have the film experience. So for now, I'm just saying enjoy.
Thank you very much. Welcome to our show this evening, and welcome to uh, our tribute to my father, Ellis Marcellus. And uh, tonight, we're in a format that he was definitely very familiar with and made some great records in this format, and that is the Piano Trio. And you have been listening to, on the piano, Oscar Rossignoli. <laughs> on the bass, Jason Stewart. <laughs> and my name is Jason Marcellus on the drums. We started off with an original composition of my father's. A lot of the music we're going to be playing this evening are his originals. And this turned out to be his theme song, if you will, the tune that uh, was associated with him. He would either play it at the beginning or at the ends of his sets. And that's a tune entitled Twelve's It. And right now we're going to move on to do a tune that he wrote named after a club called the Music Haven. It was a club that he owned that lasted six months. <laughs> and it was what he described as his, it was his experience in learning the definition of free enterprise. And that means the right to fail. And so he called this tune Swingin' at the Haven.
Thank you very much. That was a, a ballad uh, composed by my father first appeared on his very first album entitled Monkey Puzzle. And uh, that was one that was recorded many times since then. And uh, that one was entitled After. Now we're going to do for you a tune that was not recorded as many times. First time we recorded this was in the 1970s on an album entitled Solo Piano Reflections. And we sort of had resurrected it and we've been playing it a lot lately because this tune hadn't been played for about 40 years, a really long time. And uh, so we've done it as a quintet and now I think this will be the first time we've done it as a trio. This is entitled Oneness.
Thank you. Now we're going to go from the 1970s to the 1990s. And this was a tune that was first recorded as a trio. And it, uh, and that was how it was played for a good little while, but then it was recorded quartet, or played quartet, but then recorded quintet. Then it just grew from there. Next thing you know, uh, there was a, a, a gentleman who arranged it for big band. Um, and once uh, my father got over, to got a chance to go to Marciac and play it with his second son, Winton, because Winton liked the tune, and it just it just started to take a life of his own. And uh, and we're going to play that tune for you now. This is entitled Orchid Blue.
Now we're going to slow things down and do a tune that was influenced by the music of Count Basie. Uh, my father was very fortunate to hear the Count Basie band uh, sometime in the 1950s. Uh, I think they were playing a dance for two hours. And, you know, he just stood there and just watched the band the whole time. And he remembers they had played uh, the classic chart, Little Darling. And there's this ending where uh, it's sort of like the music slows down and then there's this formata. And you need somebody to conduct that. Well, there was no conductor. They just played it <laughs> just right there. My father's like, good Lord. So he goes to one of the band members and asks him, like, hey, man. How often do y'all cats work? And one of them said, too much. Because <laughs> he knew, like, if you're doing that, then you must be playing a lot to just do something that needs a conductor, but y'all don't need one. Uh, so this was a tune that was influenced by bass's music, especially that era. Uh, this is entitled Basic Urge.
Thank you very much. And now we're going to do for you an obscure tune because uh, there's no recordings of this one. Uh, I mean, there's a video you can find on YouTube. Well, now, <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> one of the things that, that was funny about rehearsing this is you'd have some guys that look at it and say, is there any recordings of this? No, no, there isn't. No, uh, no, uh-uh, no. Well, there's one on a reel-to-reel -reel somewhere, but I d cannot transfer that for you right now. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but no, this was a tune that he wrote in the 1970s and played it quite a bit, but for some reason, after 80, he didn't really hardly, he didn't play it at all, actually. And um, it was one that I heard one recording of and I was going through some of his old sheet music and found charts for it. And I looked at it and said, you know, I think this can work. I'll admit I did have to update a few things, but um, but yeah, we've uh, played it, and it's a fun tune to play, especially considering it's one that's really hadn't been recorded. So uh, we've done this one quintet. Now we're going to do it trio for you. This is entitled Three in One. <laughs>
Oscar Rossignoli on the piano. Jason Stewart on the bass. I'd like to thank y'all very much for coming out to the New Orleans Jazz Museum. And coming up next is going to be the premiere of a film entitled Ellis. So, yes, indeed. It's a uh, documentary that profiles his life and we hope that you'll enjoy the film. Of course, this is during Jazz Fest, so unfortunately I won't be able to watch it this time. I've got to go to uh, Palm Court and work that gig. But, uh, but anyway, but this is definitely a film worth checking out. And uh, thank you very much for enjoying our set to before the film. Hopefully it was a good opening act. My name is, thank you. My name is Jason Marcellus on the drums. Take care, have a good night, thank you. so that then we can watch uh, the film about Jason's father's life in his own words and music. So give us a couple of minutes to change the room and we're ready for you. <laughs> 